Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the Connectionless Transport Layer Protocol (UDP), User Datagram Protocol, and UDP Checksum Method. So, the UDP is User Datagram Protocol. It is a transport layer protocol used for the data segment transmission. So, in UDP, it take a message from the application process from the sending side attach source and destination port number for multiplexing and demultiplexing procedure then it pass to the network layer the network layer encapsulate this transport layer segment into ip datagram and then make a best effort attempt to deliver the this segment to the receiving host now if the segment arrive at receiving host the udp use destination port number to deliver this segment's data to the correct application process so here we note that the udp use no handshaking procedure between sending and receiving transport layer entity before a sending segment so for this reason udp is said to be connection less the udp is used in dns snmp and rip protocol udp is used in like streaming multimedia application like youtube in that in this application it is like low tolerant and less throughput means red sensitive applications here let's see in this figure udp is connection less and at the receiving side the not all data is present means if any of data is lost then do not resend whole data or particular data because udp cannot keep any of the state parameters like acknowledgement parameters or sequence parameter now let's understand the segment header information so in segment header information total 32 bit header size source port number is first field second field is destination port number here is the length in bytes udp segment including the header this is the checksum method which we discuss later over here it is actual our application data which will pass to the correct application process based on the destination port number in the udp protocol there is no connection establishment compared to the tcp in udp if we use connection request and reply means connection establishment then the delay will be added so in udp we can say simple communication even udp cannot keep any state about the sender and receiver like Conjunction control parameter in case of conjunctions, acknowledgement parameter and sequence parameter. So UDP we can said to be connection less. It has small header size means less overhead, eight byte only. Let's calculate how it is eight byte in UDP. See, thirty two bit means. 32 divided by 8 means 4 byte so particular this field source port and destination 4 byte for length and checksum another 4 byte so total 4 plus 4 means 8 byte and these are the data so udp segment header information contained 8 byte rather tcp segment contained 20 byte which we'll discuss later if the conjunction is occurred in udp segment then it create a blast means the packet loss occurred now let's discuss what is checksum method the checksum is method to check a segment in which error is there or not it's used to detect error in transmitted segment it's only detect an error not corrected error so in sending side the segment means 
a sequence of the 16 bit integers number binary is number including the header fields so sum of all the words means 16 bit integer do once complement of that word of the segment content means addition of segment content and then this checksum value put in the udp checksum field now at the receiving side the receiver compute the checksum of received segment means in the receiving side the again once complement sums again we do once complement sum then if in that computed checksum value is not equivalent then it create a error but it is equal to the checksum field value then no error in that segment let us understand this checksum method procedure in example in this example we have two 16 bit integer word at sender side the first word and second word now after sum of these two word any of the bit overflow so we can wrap around that bit with this word so resultant output is here now we will do the checksum procedure means once complement over here 0 to 1 0 to 1 1 to 0 1 to 0 likewise this value we can put into checksum field now at receiving side when the segment arrived at receiving host over here this two word sum this overflow bit added the answer result now that checksum field value received at receiving host will sum with this word see and calculate the sum if any of the bit is zero then we can say that error introduced in this particular packet segment if no zero in this output then we can say no error in this packet important note is that do not forgot to adding a number if it is carried out from most significant bit needs to be added to the result in this udp checksum method we can detect an error in packet segment at receiving host at receiving host if error occurred then it passed to the upper layer no facilities or mechanism to correct that error in data link layer also checksum method are available so udp must provide a error detection at transport layer on end to end host in gtu exam paper the udp checksum example can be asked next video we will discuss about the principle of reliable data transfer when we are using udp in transmission or tcp in transmission thank you